Hello everyone, this is DA from Me Academy and today this video is about the notations of the integrals that were that we will use when talking about the relations of the upper or lower sum uh, with the infimum and the supremum. So let's start with the function that is defined with the bounded limits. So let's start it with the function. So we will need a bounded function. This is a bounded function f that is taken from the set b that have all of the bounded functions and also we need a partition of the a closed partition of a b so we we have a p that belongs to the set of all of the partitions of a and b and what is p p is equal to x0 x1 so on to xn where x0 is a and xn is b so here is x1 and so on to this is xk minus 1 this is xk and so on to this is b now we will discuss the kth sub interval from this because when we're talking about the kth sub interval so we have x so this is the kth interval or we can also write it as that x is taken in between with xk from xk and xk minus 1 so now if we have this kth interval and the function this is a function f that have values in between when we're taking x from xk minus 1 and xk from the kth interval so they're here the values are here in in xk minus 1 in and xk so we say that we will we will use capital m with the subscript k that this capital M is known as the supremum value in between xk minus 1 and xk of the function. So mxk is equal to the supremum of f of x where x is taken from the interval xk minus 1 and xk. So write this. So most probably x m k is this value because this is now is the supremum value is the most most highest value in between xk minus 1 and xk so this is just as because the function is visualized here but if it is not then mk what is mk why mk is used or what is the what is meant by the notation of mk that it is a supremum of the values of f at the given interval so if it is m1 then it is the first interval of x0 and x1 the values the supremum of in between a and x1 if it is m2 then it is in between the supremum of in between x1 and x2 and so on so capital m1 is used for the supremum value and similarly small mk is the infimum of the values of in between xk minus 1 and xk small m1 is the infimum of in between ax of the values that are taken uh, of the set f in between a and x1 and so on so this capital mk is for the supremum within a given interval and cap small mk is for the infimum in between a given interval and capital m is the supremum is a supremum for every possible value in between that closed interval a and b for a given partition because p is the closed interval that is for b in between a and b so capital m is the supremum for all of these intervals a and b and small m is the infimum of the function where x is taken in between a and b now this capital m is the supremum when we're talking about the whole closed interval a and b and this mk is a specified supremum for a certain for a certain interval and this is for the certain interval for the infimum and this is for the infimum of the whole of the closed interval now the relation between this capital m and this capital mk is that this supremum can be larger than this mk or can be equal to this mk so we can write it as capital m k is less than or equal to capital m and what is the relation between small mk and this m 
because mk is infimum for the given certain interval and this m is infimum for all of the closed interval a and b so the relation between small m and capital small mk and the m is that m is less than or equal to mk so this is the relation between small mk and m and this is the relation between capital m and mk and surely we know the relation between mk and m mk is greater than small mk and this m so we can write this inequality as a whole here that m is less than or equal to mk that is less than or equal to capital mk and that is less than or equal to capital m so here we have a relation between the supremum of the whole of the closed interval the infimum of all of the closed interval and the supremum of the certain interval and the infimum of the certain interval now we will discuss the sum that is taken by within a certain interval and what is meant by the upper and the lower. so here are the two graphs of the same function and why there is the same function with the two graphs because we need to compare what is uh, the lower sum of the function and what is the upper sum so we can understand the concept more easily now at this side we will we will consider the lower sum first that what is meant by lower sum so let's draw the let's let's mention the kth interval first because we have this is the bounded function and we are going to take a partition of the closed interval a and b so we will need a partition from a to b and that is the partition that we used here that x node x1 so on to xn so we'll use that partition here again and the kth interval this aspect is so now here this is the kth interval xk minus 1 and xk and there, here are the images that of the values that are taken between xk minus 1 and xk so if so here delta xk is defined as the difference of the ends of an interval so delta xk must be equal to xk minus xk minus 1 so this is the delta xk that is the difference of a certain interval of a certain interval and we can also the difference of a certain interval between xk minus 1 between the two ends of that of that interval so xk minus xk minus xk minus 1 now we know that small mk is equal to the infimum of of the values of x that are taken from this interval so now if we multiply mk with the uh, with its with its interval difference delta xk so this is so this is the digit this is here let me specify specify mk here mk must be this infimum so it must be this this value so this is mk and delta xk is this value so if the product must be the product must be must be this whole area this whole shaded area so this is mk delta xk and this is only for the kth interval now and if we are going to do it for every possible interval here for the first interval let m1 and delta x1 m1 delta x1 so it will be the infimum at this side is, is approximately this point. So the red bar is for the delta x1. The difference delta x1 is equal to x1 minus a or x1 minus x0. So it will be the product must be equal to this shaded area and this will be this area. Now if we're going to do this for every possible interval and then we add up all of this, all of this, then I'm just going to visualize this at more than two, two intervals. So now this, the product is this M1 delta X1 for this, the product of M2 delta X2 is this, the product of so on. I'm not going uh, to say that this is X3 because this is the kth interval and the product of MK, MK with delta XK is this and so on. And if we're going to take the sum of this, then we can say that the sum of the sum the summation of mk delta xk for all of the k that is that are from 1 to n so k are from 1 to n because the partition is in between x node and xn so that is why k is 1 to n is eventually equal to the lower sum of the function f of x at a 
at a given partition P. And it is represented by small s of the function f, and this is P, that is the partition of the clause interval. That is the sum, summation of this product mk delta xk, where k is from 1 to 1. So this is the lower sum, and this is visualized here. And why this is, why this is uh, known as lower sum? Because it doesn't cover whole of the area under the under the curve or whole of the area of the function at at a given at a given boundary a and b so this is known as the lower sum and similarly if we're looking here then at the same uh, at the same lines if we are going to specify the kth interval capital S with the function F with the partition P that is equal to summation of capital M K the product of capital M K with the delta X K where K varies from 1 to N this is the lower sum and this is the upper sum because it have additional values of the area under the curve and it have it have lower values than the actual actual area under the curve so this is for the lower sum and this is for the upper sum and this is the visualization of how we can say it the lower and this is the upper sum and what is meant by the product of this thing by taking by considering a single rectangle and then mention all of the things with the with the given partition b over the closed interval and with the bounded function f and in the next video we will study the link between the lower sum the upper sum and what is meant by the lower sum of a finer partition and what is meant by the upper sum of the finer partition and what we can get the link of of these terms with each other so this is for now if you for most of videos and you can subscribe this channel to watch more upcoming videos we will make the next video till then take care goodbye